Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 260 of Factorio with the Z-Block mod, where we are just working on exporting some mineralized water for our farm, and we hooked that up from half of this, but not the other half, for whatever reason. So let's just fix that. So that is not connected. Now it is. We should have another pipe coming here. Good. And all of those are connected. Great. I think. And they probably won't split evenly into these tanks, but that's fine as long as we get the train full. Also, I was in the last episode I was a little bit worried that we might have some problems with the builds here. Because, well, they are pretty empty of uh, sulfur and stuff. All of this is empty. But I just sat around looking at it for uh, something like an hour while playing around with other things and it will eventually start bagging up the sulfur so it's not something i have made a mistake with here it just needs time and i think it's just after we had problem with the oxygen it hasn't been able to build up yet and of course we can just steal a bit of this and distribute it into here sure all of that that should help this as well And these are already building up again, as you can see, so yeah. It should still work great. I don't think we need to add any storage or anything. Also, we're not exporting this, so this is just, or was just being clarified, but that's okay. So I just wanted to clarify that. And yes, we have this for our farm now. Did we make the station for it? Was it even here? Yes, it is farming. Okay. Let's make the station for that then. So something like that. And this is just farming mineralized water then. Something like that. Mineralized water full to farming empty and just get over here. We can of course go and get a train from our cover as well. But I think we should just get this working first of all. This needs to barrel up mineralized. have enough barrels and stuff? No. But we will get a few every now and then. Good. So this is our goal. Make more gardens. Swamp gardens. We already have that. So we need to bring some solids and one fluid into a lot of farms. 
And how do we want to do that? Should we just expand this way? We're not gonna do 600 farms, but maybe we're doing 60 or something. I guess we could also have 60 down here just fine. But I would like to keep this expandable. I think we're gonna do it over here. Also, this is a very slow process, so the robots won't need to do a lot far away from the station and it's charging and stuff. So, farms. And some seed extractors. Holy Christ, that's a lot of seed extractors. That's way worse than the farms themselves. There are no higher tiers of those. Is that just life? For some reason that seems a little bit unreasonable to me. But I mean this is probably just a slow recipe. 300 seconds. Yes, that's a very slow recipe. It is what we need to make alien plant life samples. Yes. Good. So we need way more of those, even if we speed everything up with beacons. can't even have as many beacons affecting one of these as one of these, because bigger buildings are easier to boost. How many is that? 11. How about we go to 15? Then we have 4 rows for 60, as we wanted. Or we could go to 30 like that. That's also very possible. Should we alternate between farms and these? That's possible at least. Also we need the mineralized water. So I will just move these out a bit more to around here or something. And it's not a lot for each machine that we need, so one barreling thing for a row should be fine, I think. I hope, I guess. Are you an unbarreler? Yes. Mineralized water. And we need some uh, logistic network here. Might as well try and do this. I just want to make sure that we can start this up. We don't want to go too big too soon. Uh, that is always a problem with the farming, since we need something to... Well, it's circular. You need some of these to make farms. Or well, you need farms... or guns. You need guns to make more plant life samples. So yeah, and we need to ramp it up slowly. I guess that's everything we'll have on this side, and we'll have the input on this side instead. I'm just trying to figure out how we can integrate the logistic zone expanders into this. Could try and have them here. But it's also very possible to... 
make some space on this ice. I guess I need to see the seed extractors as well first. We actually figure this out. You will do... Well, you do it from uh, swamp gardens, but we should probably save those. We have a lot of other gardens we can start this up with, if I can just fetch them. Hopefully I haven't thrown them away somewhere. They should just be in a warehouse. So every... Uh, dang it. They are taken from me instantly. Wait, are we not requesting? Yes. Why are they still there? And what did the robots leave with them? Maybe just the artifacts and stuff? I am not sure. In any case, we have three swamp gardens. We have much more desert and temperate gardens. So we should probably use those for the plant life samples. But we might also have more plant life samples over here. So we want to put a time use temperate gardens to make this farming science. And none of these have any plant life samples left. Okay. And it's not like we have any extras, right? I might as well just check it. Uh, where are these things? Alien. In here, of course. I think. <laughs> not of course. Why can I not request alien plant life samples? Then we can't do it here either. And it is here. Why am I blind? Because no, it should. I was looking in here. That's not. We can't handcraft it, so it's not there. But we can get it here. Okay. And there's nothing being delivered, so we had none. Okay. But we have the gardens we can start this up with. And we need to get it started, because it takes five seconds. Oh, yeah, five minutes, sorry, to get the plant life samples out. And that's with a crafting speed of 0 0.75. So eventually, we will need something like this. It's not gonna leave a lot of space for other things like these. Beacons in here at some point. So maybe we're just making the setups a little bit taller. And doing something like that. There goes our swamp gardens. We again should really get this started. I guess we should get a lot more started and have we actually requested anything here? No. 
we will just request temperate gardens to begin with, I think. But we need to actually move this down. Dang it. This needs to go here since we use some extra space up there. And we need to power everything still. Done. What else can we get rid of? This? Good. And I'm gonna take these. They're fine on farms for now. So if we just do this, we should in five minutes get a good amount of plant life samples. And we can also do this. Maybe I shouldn't worry about requesting stuff, but now we're doing it for here at least. Good. You get one. Hopefully we can't end up eating these by accident, like I have done with the fish a lot. But just very carefully get one of each into these. And start this. And grab more stuff. We have plenty of space in here for these. I need power every now and then though. And there's no reason for the power to be up here. Couldn't have done all of the insertion and output up here and still have space for these things, right? Could we do that? I mean, we could. I think I would like to do that. If we do something like that, we have this tile empty a lot of the time. If we ever get 10 stacks of these, that's probably more than enough. all of these up. Can't really destroy this by me in any way, so let's just get off that stuff. is just to make the 300 that we need for
for these. Yes. It's not even with extra for science. Oh, of course, I put a lot of these in there. Let's just fill the rest with charging. Or maybe we just do a couple of charging things as well. Sure. Something like that. We don't need a lot of robots doing this stuff anyway. I don't think. So we need more seed extractors, that's fine. We're almost there. Mm. Come on. I'll take that, otherwise they'll just distribute it a little bit too much. go in here then. Why did we only get 31 though? Did they give one somewhere else? Yes they did. Oh it wasn't 31, it's 29 of course. I'm just gonna not remove the power but to make sure that these are not put into the provider chest right now. I would like to handle it myself. So now we should have doubled our uh, Why am I blinking on this? Our swamp gardens. Yeah. Did they take those swamp gardens? They're still on the way, maybe maybe? No. Oh, they went right back in. Which is not really much of a problem. Where are they? I'm blind. I took out two gardens. Where are those two gardens? Am I treating it as junk? Yes, I am. I think. Yes. I am allowed to have those for now. Six now working, yes. Good. Fluid handling is done. Can get these out of the way, I guess. So we had some that were working over here. They are not anymore. Good. So now we can remove all of these, right? We're not gonna lose a garden somewhere. I don't think so, at least. So now we... Oh yeah, I'm requesting those. I forgot. Wait, am I still... Oh yeah, I made the junk into a request. 
So even though they are requesting it themselves, I trump that. Set these up again. And now they will need to do it from gar oh, swamp gardens from now on. And it's not like I've missed anything in here, right? No. Good. So, swamp garden it is. That will be fine. We will start up the ones that we can. So all of these should go back into plant life samples. And I shouldn't have done it like that then. Why does it feel like we didn't really get a lot of extra farms out of that? Oh, gardens. We have 19. I guess that is more than we started with. And I guess if we simply disconnect that. No, that's not the way to go. We just need. Wait, I just I'm just a little curious about how these work no they are just connecting to those but they are not extending anything no mind me we want to get this to run by itself so i don't have to babysit it even though i will babysit it for quite a while we basically need to put half of these into seed or plant life production. This is really not the way to do this. all of them yeah i used a few too many so now i can only start up 11 more is this easiest to do when they output this stuff we should be putting it back in first of all at least prioritizing these requests. If we did a buffer chest, that's prioritized as if it was me requesting it, right? And I am very much prioritized over these requested chests. Maybe.
you don't want all of this to run yet. But are we really going to cut it all off? We will put these back in later. I just don't want all of the plant life samples to go that way. And we should still just get a lot more of these down. Even if we're not using them. So we have 30 to 51. That's nowhere near the ratio we need, but oh well. Go for this. Sure. And we're not sitting around waiting for that. So let's go to the cover base and export the mineralized water from here as well. That's iron. But right here. Is that actually a place we want to underground? No. taking anything too important. There was some alienated fertilizer in there, but yes, I can live without that. I really don't know why I'm trying to save the titanium pipe here, other than just the possibility of running out of it but it's not really that expensive or anything. At least I don't consider it very expensive. This was the wrong pipe. There we go. What else do we want to research? Just something. So that's four outputs. We would like them to go on both sides. And we're just gonna keep that name, I think. Copy that train. Mineralized water, coal, farming, empty, go. And go now. And maybe we should just set a train limit on these, but let's not do it from the start. Let's see how they do by themselves. If they just both go to the same station and wait, or what is up there. Somewhat close. We're not requesting any gardens yet, right? No. Good. I am just gonna go back and grab that alienated fertilizer things. Please. As we did a lot of work to make those, even if we have plenty now, I just feel like they are valuable. So 
so close. Go robots. Hopefully we have enough to distribute. Well, we will have enough to distribute because we only had 11 gardens. But we should now have enough to start up more than 11 after the first run. Does it start as fully... as a full-grown thing? And then get less and less full-grown? I'm not sure. You didn't get anything? Oh, and you are the buffer tier, so I guess I was totally wrong about that. Logistics done. Let's do this. How will you... Oh, you're going to me with it. Of course you are. Might as well just take it myself then. You are still working. That's fine. I do want to get a few of these started. Do something like that. And then we hopefully. Oops. Maybe we don't have a lot of this stuff. That's exactly too little. Some of them got started though. Um, get it over with. Wait, why do you have so much? Why do you still have three of those? Don't have any plant life sense anywhere? No. So we should probably use these for more plant life samples. And there's no more gardens here, right? Don't we have one in there of all three? And in there. But no more. Then we just have a bit of this. And that's it. Okay. And that is too many, but that's life. That was because they brought all of it to me just while I wanted to only use what I had already. Mm, I should maybe stop requesting them and just accept having them. Mm. I have any now, or did they come in there? That's at least we haven't entirely run out it would be a disaster if that was the case at least we would have to go and hunt for gardens i guess and they just have the blue or teal color 
but the trees have that as well. Could go and hunt blue. No more gardens in there. Oh, we have extra gardens here. Somehow. I guess I stopped dragging when I saw the robots coming and then more got into these machines. Okay. At least we can now distribute them a little bit better. Good. When this is done, it should be brought here and then they will start working again. And then we will have to come back for more unless we just request one into here maybe. Uh, but we really need it to only work if there's at least one left in these, which we can't really see. I don't think one will. Oh, yeah, just keeping one machine running for a while. It can run for what an hour or something before it has used all of our gardens now. So as long as we don't forget entirely about it, that should be fine. This looks promising. Is it just trees all over this is from garden? Just one though. Oh well. Yes, we can check it like this. That's just normal gardens, but that will help us with plant life samples as well. Eh, hey, where was it? So back there. I'm just gonna go around doing this for a bit. If only I can figure out where I marked everything. That's not a garden, that's a puffer. Down here. That's a nice swamp garden. So maybe it wouldn't be too much of a disaster if we didn't lost everything, but we can find more. Get in here, please. I am just gonna go and get these into some machines. You will be temperate garden. You will be desert garden. Good. That will do good work. Wait. Then we have three votes. Maybe not. But our plant life samples got distributed a bit too evenly it seems, but these should finish soon. If we can hunt some more, that looks like a good area.
this is actually quite easy, I guess. Not sure why I didn't consider that. Get in before you die. Why is there still a green spot here? Because I missed a garden. Oh, don't. What is it that the gardens leave? Oh, just the farming stuff, of course. Get in. Thank you. All of these have stopped running now because they are finished. We have a good amount in these. We will put even more temperate gardens in here. And desert gardens in there. And these in here. So this should get a good bit going, I think. So how many would our inserters want to put in here? I wonder. Maybe we can start to actually... There's more than two available. We can take one and put in. And then well, there shouldn't be two available anymore, because then one should be coming in here. Maybe it will put in three before it stops and feel like it's full enough. So I don't think I want to uh, request for more than that. Because these also input until there's three, I think. It will probably be a couple of episodes before we are actually somewhat automated here. I guess we could just have two of these and one of these run. Or three of these and one, I guess. Actually, we need five to one, six to one. But that is a lot of gardens that we are storing them. Maybe that's okay. So this has gotten one now. And we have requested one more. And this is not allowed to work because there's not enough available. And that makes sense. We still have some working over here, right? I guess. So more plant life samples are coming. I should really just get back out there to grab more to speed this up. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.